Every nonprofit organization is mandated to have officers who act as a board of directors, but board members don't always embrace their role in fundraising. Therefore, nonprofit leaders have created a group often referred to as a development council. See how you can best use this powerful group to your advantage in your fundraising efforts. Stay tuned. During a pivotal moment in the history of our organization, two development council members, Randy and Monty, pushed for radical changes in the way that we reported our income and expenses to our donors. And their input led to financial reports that were closer to what a business person is used to seeing and much clearer to understand. Those changes led to more gifts from donors, specifically larger donors, who up until that point were questioning the accuracy of our reports and our ability to track the outcome of gifts at the lowest level. I'm not over-dramatizing when I say these changes were monumental in that they led to our first million dollar gift and many more six-figure gifts in the years following. This is not the only contribution that our Development Council has made over the years, but it's one of the most significant. A Development Council is an often overlooked or at least underutilized tool in the fundraising arsenal. Here are a few ingredients to building a successful, flourishing Development Council. Ingredient number one, definition or description of the Development Council. The, the Council can be set up and is an extension or an offshoot of the full board of directors. Think subcommittee or can be established as a standalone group. It's seen as a group of partners or donors who gather with the express purpose of providing a helping hand in accomplishing the mission and goals of the nonprofit organization. The men and women serving on a development council should be of one mind in their decisions and directed toward helping develop the necessary resources to accomplish the mission and goals. They best serve as a unified team attempting to make a difference in one key area, development, public relations, recruitment, and fundraising. It can be a subcommittee of the board and be made up of some board members who may chair the council, or it can be comprised of volunteering partners or donors and be used as a feeder or farm system for new board members. Key ingredient number two, the role of the development council. The primary role of the council is to aid in development efforts. The council can report to the board of directors or to the executive director, president, CEO, or key organizational leader. A portion of their role is to advise, but they really are an action-oriented group who roll up their sleeves and ensure fundraising activity is accomplished to the fullest. In their service related to development, council members should see their role as partners, allies, and co-laborers. Key ingredient number three, responsibility of development council. Development council members should be recruited because they've exhibited a desire to be a life partner with the organization and have voluntarily chosen to serve in these key areas, labor, influence, finances, expertise, life. More specifically, they should agree to the following responsibilities. Provide financial partnership. The council member must be actively giving a predetermined amount to the organization each year. When choosing that amount, remember, for council members, the level of giving is not as important as the amount of sacrifice. Not equal giving, but equal sacrifice. Provide council and accountability. The council member must be available for council on development matters. As needed and as desired by the board, senior leadership, or senior development leader, an individual must be available for questions regarding their area of expertise. Number three, provide personal influence. The council member must have a willingness to help generate new financial partners or donors and cultivate existing partners. This might be done in a formal manner through development or fundraising events, such as a vision dinner, small dinner party, golf outing, or other planned event, or through informal contact maintained with current financial partners. Number four, provide personal service. The council member must attend development fundraising events and council meetings. Number five, provide prayer support. 
if you're a faith-based organization. Regularly pray for the organization. This is crucial both for the impact of prayer and fruitfulness of the organization and for developing a sense of partnership. Key ingredient number four, qualifications and makeup. A development council member must be wholeheartedly committed to the mission, vision, and values of the organization. They also need to feel called and enthusiastic about serving on a development council. They must have given a gift to the organization of a determined amount within the last 12 years. The makeup of the board should be a minimum of six, but not more than 12 couples or singles. This is one place where couples can be encouraged to serve together, as opposed to the full board, which can be problematic when making decisions relating to the mission and direction of the organization. Key ingredient number five, council structure. If the council never existed, prospective members could be challenged by the board chair, executive leader, and senior development officer. The first council could be as few as two couples or singles. If the council already exists, the same leaders as before could challenge prospective members and the council chair could extend an invitation to join the council. It's recommended that a length of service be established and it sets limits that are helpful, especially for non-productive council members. Non-productive members can discreetly rotate off while productive members can be challenged to renew their commitment. In a perfect world, a council member or couple would serve a three-year term alongside two other individual couples recruited to the same year and have the same term of service. Then the terms could be staggered so that only three members or couples would rotate off each year, keeping the three to six couples at least one or more years after that. The council will self-govern when it comes to frequency of meetings, attendance, and level of participation. However, consistency is encouraged. Key ingredient number six, recruiting new members and qualifications. Development council members should be recruited from your database or current financial partners or donors as a referral from current development council members and from attendees of an event or other development activity. It is recommended that any prospect should possess all or a good majority of these four minimum qualifications. A leader and motivator well-connected and respected in the community, a networker, experienced enough with the organization to appreciate its strengths and its weaknesses, and willing to stand alongside the staff and bring the rest of the council along. Those council members who really shine should be considered as a prospect for service as a full board member. Development council is often never considered or at a minimum overlooked when in fact it's a powerful development tool to enhance fundraising. Using the individual and combined gifts, talents, experience, and a network of a board comprised of financial partners or donors is extremely important. It's been proven that the more partners or donors are let into the inner workings of a nonprofit or even allowed into the decision-making process, the more the donors get involved and the more they give. I hope you found this video and the contents helpful. If you did, hit the like button and add a comment below letting me and this community know your thoughts on these. If you feel I missed any element related to a development council, please share that with me in the comment section so I can help our entire community of life changers. If you enjoyed what you heard, please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends or colleagues. There's no cost to you. It's my desire that by subscribing, you'll regularly learn principles and practices that will help you secure the resources necessary to accomplish your mission and change the world. Simply hit the subscribe button and click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.